it's Grady with 73 and I am your Tuesday hostess for Witchcrafton. Uh, today I'm making mini maples in a jar for uh, Beltane. Now you can use these for centerpieces on your table or you can use them as part of your Beltane decorations or on your altars and stuff. They're very simple. These are the things you're going to need. You're going to need a one quart jar. Uh, I'm using a pickle jar because it's clear and you don't have any embossment on the, the glass. If uh, you want to use a mason jar, you're welcome to. But some of the mason jars, they have the uh, logo embossed right into the glass. And I didn't want to use that because I want people to see into my jar. Later on. So I'm using a cinnamon stick because it smells nice. And this is so. And you're going to want red and white either ribbon or embroidery floss or yarn which whatever you have on hand is fine but you're going to want that and then I took they have to be they, they should be about the same length and they should be longer than your stick just to be sure that when you wrap them if you're gonna have enough to go all the way down and I used a dab of glue to keep it in place at the top and I've also got some some pretty stuff to put in the bottom. I've got some some purple uh, salt crystal. This smells like lavender. As I said, it's going to smell like a potpourri, so it's going to be lavender and cinnamon, and some rocks. Um, you know, you can you can get white rocks if you have them to represent the goddess, but I didn't have any more white white rocks. My white rocks went in there. Um, and flowers. Uh, I'm using. Uh, store-bought uh, silk flowers from the dollar store. Roses and lilies and stuff like that are traditional flowers for Beltane. Um, it's all up to you. It's your your thing if you want to do it. And I'm using for the top. I'm going to use um, this mesh piece of mesh material that I have. You can use lace if you like, if you want to uh, make it even extra pretty. Um, and some scissors. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said, you're going to take a stick, any stick you like. There are nine woods that are sacred to Beltane, and I'll post those up on the video once I do the editing. And uh, you're going to take red and white, either embroidery floss, ribbon, if you have thin enough ribbon, because remember these are going into quart jars, so the ribbon can't be too thick, or it's not going to look right. Or you can use, you know, knitting yarn, anything you want. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to take the top and you're going to dab some uh, of your hot glue right here and then you're going to let it stick and you're going to want to crisscross have your whites going this way and your reds going this way in like a T shape that way when you get when you start doing your weaving you will end up with red and white red and white red and white all the way down now what I'm doing is I'm weaving it through each side if the if it was sorry if it was underneath, then it goes over top the next time. And you just keep doing that. You crisscross them the over. Underneath one, hold crisscross it. it over the over top one. So you'll end up with like a pattern. You see the pattern that says white, 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 red, red, red. All the way down. And this is fairly simple. Uh, this is the most time-consuming part right here. After that, you get this part done, you can uh, get started on putting your jar together. So, and once you get to the bottom, you're going to tie it off. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. When you get it down to the bottom, you're going to take your thread at the bottom, like this, the two that are this side, and the two that are this side separately. And you're going to tie it in a knot. And you might unravel a little tiny bit at this point. Um, that's okay. It's no great, great problem. Everything can be fixed. You just tie it tightly. Tie it, tie it as close to the wood as you can get it. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. See where my knot is? Right there. So, 
all the way down, you're going to see a pattern, okay? On this side, it's red over white, or sorry, white over red, all the way down. And on this side, you'll see the red over the white, and then white over the red. So, don't get, you know, don't get too worried if it's not completely perfect, because it doesn't have to be. You're going to take your jar, and just take your glue, at the bottom where your thread is, just put a nice, generous dab of glue on here. Now, I'm going to use a chopstick, just because I can't get my fingers into the jar to make sure that all my thread is at the bottom. See what I've done here? Put my thread down there at the bottom. Move it around with the chopstick. And now you can add whatever you like to it. This is the basic. My stick is a little bit crooked, but whatever. Okay, so they smell so good. They smell like lavender. I think I said that already. But you just stick them in the jar. Try not to like just drop them in because you could break the bottom of your jar and you don't want to do that. Like that. Put in your stones. And you're going to put in your pretties, whatever you've got on hand. I use this. This was the uh, bottom part of my Santa's beard from Yule. He had a really long beard and I cut some of it off. And then you're going to take your flowers and you're going to put them in there in different spots because, like I said, this is going to be a centerpiece. So you want it to look centerpiece -y. I don't even know if that's a word, but okay. And you can use your chopstick to position your stuff in the in the jar, see, so far, I've got my, my little roses in there, and then you can put whatever you like in here, um, you can add more flowers around it, you can add some ribbon coming down from the top, um, I'm not going to do that today, your, you put your top on, take your beads, and I'm using red and white beads to go around the top. You don't have to use beads. You can use ribbon. It's whatever's up, whatever you feel like doing. And you can glue this into place with hot glue. Or you can just leave it as is. And you've got a pretty little centerpiece all ready to go. Now, I trim this stuff because that's, I found it was too, too long. But... Uh, Traditionally, Beltane is the time when people perform weddings and uh, other such rituals because it's the celebration of the god and the goddess's marriage. And I have um, been inspired by the Beltane marriage side of it to do these little centerpieces because you know how at weddings you, you have the little pretty little centerpieces and... Uh, Sometimes you, the guests get to take them home. Well, that's what that's what I'm doing here today. I'm making kind of like a pretty little centerpiece. So that's that's my maple and jar centerpiece for your Beltane celebration. And I hope that you had fun today and that you'll come back and see me again. Blessed be everybody.